children. Please don't make noise. Otherwise, all the birds will fly away. Ma'am, where have we come? Which is this place? This is the Whirly Forest. And the tree that you see in front is the Whirly Tree. Children, this is no normal usual tree. This whirly tree is hundred years old and it is home to hundreds of birds and animals. Really ma'am? Wow! And listen, come here. Can you see that yellow bird on top with a bright red beak? That's Kiku. Kiku? Who Kiku? Kiku is our protagonist of the story. You know children, Kiku was very lazy. And Kiku was always greedy for grains. Every morning, all the birds of the Whirly Forest used to fly out in search of grains. But Kiku never accompanied them. He used to say, Hey, since you all are going, why don't you do me a favor? Can you get me the grains, please? I am too tired today to come. Since the birds lived happily, they told Kiku, All right, we'll get grains for you. But this used to continue every single day. Hey friends, listen, since you all are going in search of grains, can you please get them for me today also? My legs are aching. My wings are aching too. I think I've got some fever. I can't come. And all the birds would say, All right, Kiku, but we must tell you, if you will keep doing like this, then one day, your body will become very heavy because you are not doing any physical work. And then it will become very easy for the hunters to catch you. And Kiku, the grains that we are getting every single day, you are eating more grains from it, said the peacock. No, no, I don't do that. Please don't call me greedy. I am not lazy. I am just feeling too tired. All right, Kiku. As you say, we all will get the grains for you. But remember what we say. The next day, a hunter came to the forest. He came with his net and his bow and arrow. And he was sure to make a good kill. And then he saw Kiku, the bright, yellow, beautiful bird Kiku. As a bait, he threw some grains, pulses, maize, millets, rice under the tree thinking that Kiku would come to eat them and then he would catch him. Since Kiku looked like a big fleshy bird and the hunter thought if I take him home with me we'll have a good meal tonight. 
And, as you know, children, Kiku was always greedy for more grains. He flew down to the bottom of the tree and started eating the grains. He said to himself, Oh, how lucky I am. All these birds are flying far away in search of grains. They never listen to me. They can also rest some day. See, the grains have come to me. I feel like a king today or some kind of a magician who's attracting things. And Kiku began eating the grains one by one, one by one. And then... The hunter threw his net over him. Oh my God! Oh my God! What is this? I think I'm trapped. I think I'm trapped. Who will save me now? All my friends have gone out in search of grains. I am so silly. I never listen to them. They always told me, Kiku, don't be greedy. Kiku, please do some physical exercise. Now my body is so heavy. I can't come out of this net. Oh God, please help me. My dear friends, where are you? Please help me. And then, just in time, came all the birds. They saw Kiku in the hunter's trap. They said to each other, We have to save Kiku. We have to save Kiku. He's our friend. We have to save him. Come on, come on, come on. They all flew down to the bottom of the tree. And together, one, two... And three picked up the net and flew away with it up, 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 above the tree, high up in the sky. And then Kiku quickly flew up to the highest branch of the tree. The hunter could not make his kill that day. Kiku apologized to all his friends. Dear friends, please forgive me. I was so wrong. I never listened to your advice. You were all telling me something for my own good. Had I been doing some physical exercise, going in search of grains with you, my body would not have become so heavy. I would have not got trapped. And above all, had I not been so greedy for extra grains, I would have understood that this is the hunter's trap. And that is the reason why each day at dawn, you all fly off to faraway places in search of food. I am really sorry, my friends. All the birds were very happy. They welcomed Kiku with their arms open and a big heart. They said, Kiku, welcome back, our friend. We are so happy. You are ready to change yourself. You are ready to cultivate some good habits in you. We are so happy. And from that day onwards, Kiku used to fly with all his friends early morning in search of grains. I hope you all enjoyed the story, children, from the Whirly Forest. Let's say bye-bye to the hundred-year-old Whirly Tree Bye. Bye, Kiku. Bye, dear birds. Bye, Mr. Snake. 
and by Hunter. It's time to go back to the art room. So, dear children, are you ready to make your own whirly forest? Yes, then you will also have a lovely storybook with you, which you can show to everybody around that you have designed and illustrated a storybook at such a tender age. So get ready, we are making our own whirly forest. Let's begin with the beautiful lush green whirly tree on which lived all the beautiful and colorful birds and our own favorite and famous protagonist of the story, Kiku, who understood that it is so important to do our own work all by ourselves, be alert all the time and not to be greedy. Be aware and be safe. So, to draw the whirly tree, we are making a wave. Or you can say a standing snake. Interesting, na? Yes. Now, before we double, let's make the branches. Branches are also wavy. Just see. Draw the wave whichever way you like, children. I am just making a random wave. Wow! But right now, does it look like a tree to you? No, it looks like there are some lines which are intersecting. It's time to bring it to its shape. So let's start doubling it. Not very thick, children. Let's double all the lines. So these are the branches and this one which looks like a snake is the tree trunk. Let's double all the branches. Don't you feel that this tree is more interesting than the trees that we make all the time? Yes, you agree with me. This is the beauty of Indian folk art, children. These tribals make something which is very, very unique and creative. Now it's time to make the smaller branches. Just make curves in any direction that you wish to take them to. Just see, I'm making curves. I'm not doing anything big. But at the end of this, this tree is going to look absolutely beautiful and lush. Just see. We are making curves. And now, once our tree is ready, all the birds and our favorite Kiku is going to come to live on it. So you see children, trees are so very important. They are giving us oxygen 
they are giving us timber they are giving us fruits but they are equally important for birds and animals too right so we have to save trees not just for ourselves but for the animals also looks nice double just see i've doubled everything so our big old hundred year old huh woolly tree is all ready almost done this one is looking a little blank let me add some more branches to it i've added one that's enough now leaves are going to come next so for the leaves what are we going to do we are just going to put these circles so since for the leaves we are just putting these circles i am going to teach you the leaves later let's first add the birds so all the birds are uh, have perched on various at various different levels how to make the bird you all remember circle for the face yes beak is with a v shape right absolutely two lines for the neck wow you remember things so well from the story you have a very good observation children i'm proud of you how was the body yes it was with a semicircle wow so shall we make it the bird whose tail feather look like a cotton flower have you seen a cotton flower doesn't it look like this So here is this little bird perched. It's time to add a peacock. You remember how the peacock was? Yes, circle. Again, beak. Two lines for the neck. A bigger body. Let's add the legs like this, children. And the train of tail feathers how lovely it is looking and so easy to make don't you all feel like this tree has come to life and these birds are actually talking to each other can you guess what they are talking about oh yes i think they are calling out to kiku I think it's time to go in search of food. But where is Kiku? Kiku is somewhere on the top, nicely enjoying himself. He doesn't like disturbances, you know. He used to sleep till late. You remember? What was the shape of Kiku's body? Face was with a circle, neck was with two lines, his body was Oh yes, it was triangle shape. So here comes our Kiku with a triangle shaped body and bouncy tail feather. the design was same as the leaves of the tree so the birds found it very difficult to find him you know he used to get mixed up in this tree like i told you in the story so that's kiku over there i think he's all awake right now he's learned his lesson that's true it's time to add mr snake So here is our Mr Snake.
easy easy breezy right so here goes our mr snake you can add some design on him right now all the birds are having a good time let i want to make a bird sitting right over here and she's not talking okay her beak is closed now so just one line legs Shall we add more birds to this? Yes, I think we are finding this very very interesting. All right, teaching you another bird now. See? Same way. But her tail feathers are dropping down like this. Wow. This tree is so full of life. Don't you feel like visiting the Whirly Forest? So you all can see children through your art. You've brought an entire tree to life. And this sheet which looked so blank some time back is full of life. and in the same way you can illustrate your own stories make your own story books and use your art to express and convey your ideas i am thinking let's add one animal also Okay we've made a tri two triangles this way Who is he by the way Which animal can climb up the tree Oh I think it's the lowest branch so a lion has just climbed up from here But uh, lions don't know na how to climb up a tree yes but in my story he can how interesting now let's make a whirly horse children whirly horse na for a whirly horse you make a oval like shape for the face which is slightly pointed in front very slight okay and then body is same like we made for our lion up down up down and join so this is the whirly horse grazing under the tree some hair on his neck eyes abo mr sher khan who knows how to climb on the tree we forgot to give him eyes now it's time to finish our composition or you can say our story illustration like i told you the leaves are with these circles so we are going to make them directly using our sketch pens it's time that you pick up your favorite sketch pen i'm picking up a black sketch pen or a black marker you may use colorful sketch pens also children you all can see i have begun outlining my whirly tree let's begin adding colors to the tree colors will add more life to it 
I hope you are enjoying doing this. I hope you are enjoying putting the dots. When you do such kind of exercises, it helps you improve your concentration. And once your concentration gets better, it will help you with your studies. Are you missing the hunter children? Actually, I am also missing him. We should have drawn him. We will draw him now. Let's finish this. Done. Yay. Now, you can pick up your favorite sketch pens or maybe your colors. And you may color your birds. The favorite colors that you would want to. And wherever you want to change the color, you may change. Let's add some color to his tail. Else it's looking too dull. Isn't it? Our little horse grazing wow, under the tree. Neon. In the worldly forest. And Kiku's friends, all the birds. I've got my pencil colors all too. Are around in case we feel now that it's a happy color place. is missing somewhere. Kiku has learned his lesson. Different color. Everybody is happy. So I have them. Shall we add some color to her tail? And this Sher Khan. He never eats Looking any nice. They're all friends. What Choose your he? favorite colors and color your birds. He goes out Kiku and Kiku has to be the bright. He never hurts. So he's a neon he never hurts. yellow. Any wow. bird and animal. Let's color his face and neck. Of the worldly forest. They're all friends. And his tail is all multicolored. They live in the same house. He has to stand They're out. All he has to look different. Loving and caring family members. Kiku has a bright tree. red beak. Never hurt each other. They always help. Remember? A nice bright yellow for my Sher Khan. Right? And a brown for the horse. Oh yes, I remember. We have to make the hunter. Wait, wait, wait. Let's quickly complete the birds first. I know you all are very excited to make the hunter. We'll make him. Wait a moment, please. Add some color to her tail. That's the reason I left it like that. I did not outline because I thought I'll be adding some color. Who's the brightest? Who's the brightest? Yes, it's Kiku. I'm using blue and red color for Mr. Snake. You can choose a different color. So here goes our Mr. Snake. All right, you all are super excited for the hunter. So now the hunter is back under the tree, but this time he's not going to hunt anybody, any of these animals. He's also become friends with them. So whirly figure, circle, one small line for the neck, inverted triangle and another triangle. Okay. Legs. And he's saying hi to all the animals. And just to show that he's not going to hunt them and they should not be scared. I am putting his quiver on the ground. So that these animals don't get scared of him. And let's quickly color Mr. Hunter also. Just adding some grass. I hope you're finding this whirly painting very, very beautiful. What are we doing? We are just making number one. Or you can say small 
standing lines. Wow, I love my whirly tree and my whirly forest. And I hope you do the same. So our whirly tree in the whirly forest with its beautiful birds and kiku and the hunter, the horse and the Sher Khan and Mr. Snake is ready. I hope you enjoyed my storytelling and art session children. See you next time. Bye bye.